Okay, uh, so here's a quick video on how to proxy a REST IP using the endpoint platform. The, the previous video, I, sh I walked you through kind of proxying a, a, a SOAP endpoint or a WSDL. Um, with the REST endpoint, it's, it's pretty much the same way, uh, just to kind of walk you through some you know differences in here. So say for example, you have a REST API here. The idea is that you want to proxy a REST API. So you're gonna go into Exchange first. You're gonna go ahead and set up a new asset here, uh, a REST demo API. And then we're gonna go ahead and select HTTP for that endpoint. And then there's no need to actually upload a RAML document. Um, the idea here is that you, you're gonna create this endpoint as an exchange asset and then proxy that API uh, over an API manager. So for now, we can go ahead and click on publish and it's gonna create an asset within the exchange. And that specific asset Right now, you can add in documentation around what this API is for. Um, since you haven't defined a RAML document, right, it, it just exists as a um, an entry with an exchange where you can add information around the asset. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and jump into API Manager, and over an API Manager, same method as we done did in the past with the the, the WSDL endpoint. We're going to manage an API from Exchange, and let's go ahead and search for that entry that we just added in here. You can see that it's an HTTP endpoint. We'll select the version, the asset version, and then we're gonna leave this as, uh, set this up as an endpoint with a proxy, right? And now that we set this up as an endpoint with proxy, this is where we're gonna go ahead and paste in that REST API, right? So for now, we'll go ahead and set it up as um, the, the base endpoint here. And we'll leave this as Cloud Hub since we're going to deploy this to Cloud Hub. If you're deploying this on premise, this is where you would deploy this for hybrid. Uh, but we'll leave this as Cloud Hub for now and it'll go ahead and deploy a runtime to uh, our, our Cloud Hub environment and we'll click on Save. Okay, so once you click on Save, down below you can see that it shows you the deployment configurations to deploy this proxy. We're going to select 3.8.x and then here we're going to give this a name. We'll go ahead and call this REST Demo API and we'll click on deploy. And then again, in the background, it's gonna go ahead, uh, deploy this proxy to Cloud Hub, right? It's gonna go ahead and start the application. And then once it's successfully deployed, you'll have that proxy to endpoint available for you to make calls to. So uh, we'll give this a couple seconds. And then you can see here, here is the, the API, the implementation URL, right? The underlying URL that we're trying to hit. And then it's gonna deploy this to this endpoint here. So. We'll give it a couple more minutes here. Uh, we can click over here on the right to manage the Cloud Hub proxy. It'll open a new window and bring you to the runtime manager for that specific application. You can see here that it's still spinning up this application. We can click on logs to see what's going on in the back end. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Uh, if we come back over to this endpoint and click on refresh, you can see that it doesn't have the resource found. So we'll go ahead and type in accounts, right? And now it's gonna go ahead and, and return the data from that REST API. Um, coming back over here to the API Manager, you can see that the API is active now. Uh, it's changed the screen to show the analytics around the number of requests. And then additionally now, we can go ahead and apply policies now, right? So we wanna go ahead and, and rate limit and say that we can only allow three requests within a one minute time period. We can go ahead and apply that. Um, coming over to here within Runtime Manager, we can check out the logs and see when that policy gets applied. So it hasn't been applied yet. Let's give it a couple of seconds. Okay, you can see that that policy has now been applied. If we come over to the uh, proxy endpoint, we can hit it three times within a minute, and it's going to go ahead. It'll go ahead and give us an error now. Okay, and that's all you have to do to go ahead and set up a proxy for an existing REST API within the endpoint platform.